Hello everyone, welcome back. So I'm gonna be sharing this set of nails with you. It's a watch me work video doing sugared nails and plaid nails. So I'm excited to share it with you. So we'll get started right away. first gel polish I'm using is from Ugly Duckling. It's a really beautiful turquoise color and this is 012 is the color number. So I think I do three of the nails in this color. No, I just do two of the nails. I had to think about it because it's been a little bit since I actually did this set but I wanted to get it up for you. Anyways, I do two of the nails and I'll do two coats of this color on those nails. So I will just let you watch me do that and when I move on to the next color I'll be back to let you know what it is. The next gel polish is from Nail Addict Los Angeles. It's called Precious Mate, my favorite gray right now. It's a deeper gray, and I just need to do one coat on these nails. It's such great opaque coverage. If you want to see the video where I shared the, I think it was five colors they sent me to share with everyone, and if you want to see that video, it's up in the top right hand corner. So I do three of the nails in this color and two of them are actually going to have something else on them. So I will be back when I apply the next product on those other two gray ones. So the next product I'm applying is Light Elegance Gunmetal and Light Elegance Glitter Gels. I don't think there's anything that compares to them. They are absolutely stunning and I love this one. I do put it over top of the gray because I didn't want to thicken up her nail. She has acrylic as her base. This is my client of course with the Extreme Arch and the C Curve in her nail. Anyways, I didn't want to bulk up her nail so I put the gray underneath and then I can just do a real thin layer of the gunmetal it's just stunning when it goes on you'll see that as i'm doing it so i do do this nail and the thumb and then we'll get started on the artwork as soon as i have these two covered with the gunmetal
I'm sure you will agree with me that gunmetal light elegance glitter gel is beautiful so now I'm doing the artwork on this nail so I'm gonna be doing some sugared snowflakes so if you want to see how to do that just keep watching but I am applying the matte top coat first because this nail is going to be finished up to the point of this sugared snowflakes so I want to make sure that I have it filled in and just have it nice and smooth for those snowflakes because I won't be top coating the snowflakes so it will cure for 60 seconds and then, then I'll show you the products I'm using to do the sugared snowflakes. So I'm going to grab my Daily Charm Perfect White, my favorite white gel polish and this loose fine glitter and now this has a little bit of like green and pink glitter in it too, very fine. So what I do is I use a dotting tool to do the snowflake, it's just a great way of doing a sugared snowflake. You'll see the design here, how I do it and then I'll be grabbing a detailed brush and finishing the snowflake. I'll grab that in a minute here and I'm going to be using my McCart brushes. Those are the only detailed brushes that I use. It's such a great set. They're my favorite. I'll put that link down in the description as well. But anyways, I'm going to finish the snowflake and before I cure it, I'm going to grab that loose glitter and sprinkle it over the snowflake and then it's going to cure for 30 seconds once I have it sprinkled over top of it. wasn't happy with one of the little circles after I drew the line through so just touch it up with a dotting tool and it's more of the white before you sprinkle it with the glitter and I'm going to sprinkle it with the glitter like I already said and cure that for 30 seconds and then I'm just going to draw a little star and a couple little dots and I'll sprinkle them too. You could do that all together. I just chose to do it in steps. It'd be pretty easy to do it all in one step though. You'll see me doing that and I'll use that detail brush again just to make that little star on the one middle one. Again, once it's cured for 30 seconds I'll just take a brush to remove any extra glitter so now I'm doing the plaid again I'm gonna do this extra step which isn't really necessary but because she does have such curved nails I find by doing the polishes and acrylics sometimes they need to be filled in a little bit more to make them more 
even and smooth so I'm going to do my matte top coat on them just so when I stamp the plaid there's a more smooth surface if that all made sense and this is the plate I'm using and I'll put that down in the description as well so you guys can find it. it's my favorite plaid plate and I'm going to use beauty big bang polish I'll put that down in the description as well the link for it it's my favorite uh, stamping polish other than clear jelly stamper polish and using my clear jelly stamper I'm going to stamp that plaid design on this nail and when I get it on there I'm not finished with the plaid yet you'll see in a second what I'll do to add to this plaid design So when I stamped it I just noticed that there was a little tiny tiny bit of white missing so it's easy fix you just take the polish and fill it in and then I'm gonna be grabbing that precious mate that dark gray that I used on the other nails and putting it on my palette then I'll be finishing this plaid design with those lines using my detail brush it's just gonna tie everything together by putting the gray on this as well as just the white so I did use the plate to do the white lines. Now I could have drawn them myself. I've done so many lines. I'm pretty good at getting them pretty straight and I could have, it just saved a little time. So then I just had to draw the gray lines and then I'm curing them for 30 seconds. <music> Is all of the art I'm doing on this set of nails so I'm going to be covering up the plaid with the matte top coat and the gunmetal light elegance glitter it stays shiny I do a shiny top coat now this matte top coat I've been using it a lot and it's one of my favorites it's by nail addicts Los Angeles so if you're looking for a good matte top coat it is one of my favorites besides the ugly duckling one and I'll put that link down in the description so you can find it as well and I do have a 50% off code for them and here's the set these are one of my favorite sets I think it was because of the prettiness of the teal with the gray they were a stunning set of winter nails let me know what you thought of these nails I hope it was helpful on how to do sugar nails and plaid nails thanks everybody for watching please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.